Hi, I'm Linda Mihara, and in today's class, I'm going to show you a really cool model that is, it's called the Dragon Heart, and it has a really cool dragon with little wings here, little detail on the head, and um, it is from a single sheet of paper, and it's great because it showcases both sides of the paper, so if you've got a really nice paper like this with red and gold, that might be a great idea. Uh, but you could certainly just use regular standard origami paper because that has two different colors. Recommended size is 10 inch by 10 inch and definitely grab your creasing tool to help you with the creases. So go ahead, grab those and let's get started. So let's begin with the color of the dragon face down and we're going to fold both diagonals to get the halfway point. So let's bring the corners across make that crease and unfold and do the other diagonal and then unfold. So now that we have the diagonals in place, we're going to fold the four corners to the center. So my technique is to fold the two opposite points in first and then follow with your final two. So let's go ahead and fold one corner to the center. I'm going to fold the opposite one to the center. And then when you fold the, the other two, it'll be very accurate and you won't have a lot of gap in between the flaps. And like this. So now we're going to take the paper and fold it in half into a rectangle. Put a nice strong crease in there and unfold it and let's fold the other rectangle. Again, the points are on the inside of the model and then unfold. Now let's flip the model over to the other side and we're going to fold both diagonals. So let's go ahead and bring the two points across like this and then unfold and then fold the other diagonal bringing those points up and then unfold. Now let's turn the model over and we're going to push up from the center and what happens is it pops up like this. Now you're going to just gather the paper just like I'm doing it here, bringing everything together like this so it makes like a star. You're gonna divide your, your flaps two and two like this and then put it flat on the table in front of you. So now we're going to take the model and let's rotate it. So now it looks like an upside down triangle. And we're going to take this flap on the right. If you look at the flap, you'll see that there are two pockets, three layers of paper. What we're going to do is do a squash fold with this first pocket. So what you do is you bring the flap to center like this, slide your finger inside the pocket, into the corner till it pops open and then you squash it into a square just like that and now's a good uh, time to follow with your creasing tool to make the edges super flat and then now we want to do the same for the left flap so we need to turn this page like that let's turn this one over just to reinforce the spine of the model now we bring that to center, and now we want to open up the, the first layer, this first pocket here. So slide your finger into the corner till it pops open, and then squash it into place into a square. And the, point, the points will line up here at the bottom. Go ahead and squash that, and then follow with your creasing tool. So now let's take just one of the layers here on the right and just move it over to the left and you should have just a single layer here. We're going to turn this into a petal fold. The way we do that is to do a pre-crease first. So we're going to take this lower edge here and bring it to meet the center crease here. So it's going to look like this and then do the same for the other half here. And let's go ahead and reinforce this because this is a, a pre-crease that will set us up for the petal fold. 
So now we're going to take this triangle up in here and just fold it down over this edge. I like to call it putting the ice cream on the ice cream cone. So you just get a nice crease going like that. You don't have to go all the way across, just right here in the middle. And then when you unfold, you'll see that you have a nice crease going across there. Now let's go ahead and unfold these two flaps here. And we're going to lift up the top layer of paper. And it's important to make sure that this stays flat. So when you lift this up, this stays flat here. So when you open it up, it looks like this. And you see the sides start to come in. And that's what you want to do. You want to start from the bottom and recrease that that edge that you've just you've done in the previous step. And then for the top, you just want to pinch along the crease and it will reverse itself. So this is the result here. Same thing for the other side. So start from the bottom, bring the layer in, and then from the middle, you just go up. And now it lays flat. And now you have a really nice petal fold. And let's go ahead and reinforce with our creasing tool. So now we're going to narrow the head and the tail here. And let's take this layer, this top layer here. We're going to bring this edge to meet the center crease. Now it's really important that you don't go over the center crease. So I like to go right up to it and almost leave a little space because this is going to reverse direction and you want a little bit of uh, space in order to make that happen. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's follow with the creasing tool and let's do the same thing for this side here. So I'm going to take this, bring it up to, that and then follow with the creasing tool. So now we have this. So the next step is we're going to work and loosen some layers down over here. So let's move this layer over and let's move this layer over. And we're going to take this layer here, open it up. And then this whole thing swings over like this and it should follow right along that edge. And then you're just going to go ahead and flatten that and squash it into place. Now we're going to take this point and bring it right to the center, which will look like this. Now you're starting to see the color of the heart showing up like that. And now let's go ahead and replace this edge here. And let's do the same for the other side. So we're going to take this move this over. Now we're moving this one over. Now we're going to peel open this top layer, open it, and then this will swing back over, and then it will allow you to squash it like that, and then take that point and fold it into the center. And once you do that, let's replace that flap. So this is what you should have. Let's go ahead and reinforce with the tool like that. So I've changed to a model that's folded from a larger size paper in order to give a better look at the detail that's going to happen on the next few steps. So now that we have this, we want to take this flap and just move it over. We're going to take this section and fold it up. We're going to bring this edge here to line up with this folded edge here. And it's going to start at this corner here where the color changes. So we're going to fold it all the way up. And it'll stop right here. Let's fold that, follow with the creasing tool. And then this top part here, we want to fold that down. And then as you fold it down, this will come over and then you just flatten it by folding it right here at this point. And that's a great way to do this particular inside reverse fold with one layer. Now we're going to take and do repeat because we're going to make detail um, on the tail. So we want to open this up like this. We're going to take this and fold it down and 
it, it's a good idea, I think, for this model is to keep these edges lined up. So I'm going to bring this edge down here. It's not quite halfway. There's still a little bit of space from this edge here. But this edge is lined up, which is great. So you want to fold this part here. And then you're going to take the tail, fold this back up. And then this will flatten like that. And now we're going to do it one more time to add the little flourish at the end of the tail. So we want to unfold the tail, take this, let's fold it up. I'm still lined up with this at folded edge here. And let's see, probably right about there. So you fold this part, take the tail, fold it down, and then you can flatten just like this. So now we've got a nice detail on this tail. What we want to do is take behind the tail, there's this part that we want to hide. So I'm just going to take that and mount and fold it back behind like that. So now you have a nice clear silhouette of the tail. So now that we have the tail in place, let's go ahead and do the head. We're going to first take this flap and move it over. Then we're going to take this flap and bring it all the way up and you want to line it up with this folded edge here which is just like this fold this part here and then replace this flap down like that when you do that this will flatten like that now you're going to take we need to make the head part with the little flourish so we're going to take this part unfold it take this flap fold it down and again, you want to kind of line up with this folded edge here. And it's actually, it starts where right here at the edge of the wing. And then it also should line up with the edge like this. And once you have that in place, you're going to take this part here, fold it forward, and then the rest of the head will come down. This is actually the neck of the dragon. It actually kind of looks like the head of a crane. And then we want to do it one more time because we need to make the flourish. So we want to take this, unfold it, take this flap and fold it so that the point extends out past like this. And it, and it ends at this point here. So it looks something like this. And then you're going to take this section here, which is actually the head, and we're just going to push it forward. And so now you have the head with a little flourish on the top. And we're going to go ahead and just enforce all the way around with your creasing tool. So that's the dragon part. So now we want to go ahead and make um, some pleats in the wing. So the first step is to take the wing and we want to go ahead and fold it down at the max. And I'd like to line up this these edges right in here. So I'm just going to bring that down and fold. So it's already at a slight angle. And let's go ahead and use our creasing tool. So after you folded that down, let's go ahead and fold it back up using this corner as a pivot. I'm going to bring this edge here of the wing to meet this angle of the body. So we're going to fold it over and open it up like this. And then now we're going to take this and fold from this point out to about here. Just like that. And so that's a nice little wing. It just kind of opens up and you have some nice pleating going on like that. I'm going to collapse it for now. Uh, we're going to finish shaping this heart. So let's turn the model over to the back side. And we want to take these two points and fold it down slightly. Not all the way down here, I would say some uh, maybe about two thirds of the way down like that. Try to match the other side to that. You definitely want to use your creasing tool here. And then we want to do the same for these two points here. So let's just fold those in. 
like that. You do have a crease that you can kind of line that point up like that. And the same for this point here. We just bring that over and flatten and then follow with the creasing tool. So that is actually your fantastic dragon heart and which is great to use with double-sided paper. So thanks for joining me for this fantastic model, Dragon Heart. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos, check out the YouTube channel, Paper Tree SF. Thanks for joining me and happy folding.